Welcome to Google Play Policy Bytes. I'm Joe, the manager of Google Play Academy. Thanks for joining us today to hear more about our policy updates. Today, we'll cover an update to our All Files Access permission for apps on devices running Android 11 or above, news apps policy as it relates to user-generated content and ads, new examples and clarifications for a few policies, and lastly, an introduction to a package app visibility policy where apps need to be approved to view what other apps are installed on the user's device. Last July, we announced the scope storage requirement for apps targeting Android 11 or above to give users more access control over their device storage. We've clarified that files and directory attributes on a user's devices are regarded as personal and sensitive data, and apps should only request access to device storage for which is critical for the app to function and may not request access to device storage on behalf of any third party for any purpose unrelated to the user-facing app functionality. Starting in May, developers with apps that need access to another app's files, such as media, must submit permission requests in the Play Console. We've heard questions about our news apps, so we want to clarify our policy. The primary purpose of apps that declare themselves as news cannot be user-generated content like you see in social media apps. Also, apps that declare themselves as news may use ads and other forms of marketing to monetize as long as the app's primary purpose isn't to sell products and services or generate advertising revenue. In this example, you'll see an app that has selected the news category, but has scattered affiliate marketing and ad revenue that could be viewed as the app's primary purpose. We're also adding a small clarification on our existing personal and sensitive information policy. We want to be clear that developers must reveal all third parties with which personal and sensitive data is shared. In order to protect children from ad experiences that may be unsafe, frustrating, or detrimental to their development, we have specific policies that apply to advertising and monetization in families apps. Last year, we launched a new requirement that ads must be closable after five seconds of viewing. To clarify, this requirement also applies to rewarded ads. We've added an example to the Common Violations section explicitly depicting a non-compliant rewarded ad experience and a screenshot. Here is an example of a rewarded ad that interferes with normal gameplay. As the user plays the game, an ad pops up, interferes with their experience, and it's not closable after five seconds. This is prohibited. We've also updated the family's policy requirements with an additional clarity on the app's functionality. If your app targets children, it must not merely provide a web view of a website or have a primary purpose of driving affiliate traffic to a website, regardless of who owns the website. Let's take a look at this example of an app that just shows a web view of an existing web page. This is prohibited and may result in an app removal or suspension. Using data responsibly means that developers only access personal data that they need. Later this year, we'll be introducing new policies where developers will be able to request permission and be approved for their app to view what other apps are installed on a user's devices. If you feel you qualify and plan to request this permission for apps on devices targeting Android 11 SDK 30 or above, you will be required to explain why your app needs permission in the Play Developer Console as early as July. We know making updates can take time, so we'll be sure to give you 60 days advance notice before the deadline begins. The inventory of installed apps queried from a device are regarded as personal and sensitive user data subject to the personal and sensitive information policy. Apps that have a core purpose to launch, search, or interoperate with other apps on the device may obtain scope-appropriate visibility to other installed apps on the device. 
In line with package visibility, we've added to our policy coverage article that the use of permissions in contravention of official Android developer app permission requirements or in violation of existing policies, including elevated privilege abuse, are expressively prohibited. In this example, you'll see the game Joe's Fruit Match, one of my favorites, put in a prominent disclosure of the app on the use of permissions. One problem here, though, is the game likely does not meet the requirement of its core purpose being to launch, search, or interoperate with other apps on the device. It's just a fruit matching game. This would be prohibited. Now, in this other example, you'll notice an antivirus scanner security app. Its core purpose requires the launch, search, and interoperability with other apps on the device in order for it to perform its function. This would likely be an acceptable use case, and the developer would submit their app for feedback to use the permission in Google Play Console when the permission declaration form becomes available. Here's our enforcement timelines for new and existing apps. Last July, we announced an all files access permission change. Then in March, we announced the policy changes we talked about today. On May 5th, the policy updates listed here will be enforced. Later this year, enforcement of package app visibility permission will occur, but we'll make sure to give you 60 days advance notice before we do so. Learn about policy on Google Play Academy. Visit g.co slash playacademy slash policy. We hope this helped you better understand our policies. For full details and the latest information, visit play.google.com slash policy. Thank you for being our partner in ensuring that Google Play remains a safe, trusted source for apps and games. So until next time, stay safe and healthy out there.